And this song is broken, so I have to skip it. Very cool. Everything's broken, man. I'm going to go to chat box, properties, visual settings. I'm going to disable better TTV. I'm going to disable Franker Z. No one uses those anyway. Even the, it's even bugged in the example one. Through Fury and Besajun to Cure Vine and top eight to 1k, so that was fun. Oh, sick. Fury's got to be great in that deck. Besajun is also free roll, so that all makes sense. I've seen some people play like the old, um, you know, Ponza deck or whatever with some Fury in it. And those look pretty good. All right, I'm just waking up, so I'm going to need a minute. So if y'all got any questions about the deck or y'all want to just chit chat for a few, let me know. I'm just chilling. I'll start the match in a few. Callie's going to be home soon and going to be handing me a plate full of chicken and rice. So I'll probably be in the middle of round one when that happens, but I might wait until after that happens to start. Hero J with a uh, hundred bitties has a big chilling. Yeah, the apostrophes are broken. That's so strange. I don't know how to fix it either. Maybe I should... Uh, Redo chat box. Let's go. I'm just going to remove it for a minute. Uh, remove. I'm going to do new. I'm going to do a new chat box. All right. Chat box. Add source. New source. Chat box new. Let's see if I can change any things. This is setting box. Let's try clean. Uh, let's try Twitch. All right, let's try this. Oh, so small. I hate it. All right. Me properties. I can't even see it. See old schools. I look like chunky. It's not your stream. Jars had the same problem. Yeah, but I was thinking maybe doing the chat box uh, reset would be make it work. All right, we'll just go back to the way the old one looked. Someone say stuff. It's broke. All right, all right. I don't know. Let's see. Should I make the font real big or should I make it real small? Probably real big, right? Yeah. Gotta do a big font. All right. So let's go. Stretchies. No, that looks bad. Well, guys, challenges Halo cat skin. That's kind of cool, I guess. Man, okay, I'm just gonna put back my old chat box. Delete. It, so resetting the chat box didn't work, so. I don't know how to get it back to the same size it was, chat. 
This is gonna be brutal. Trying to make it like be exactly the right size or whatever. All right, so I guess we can cut off some stuff. It was nice and it was nice and now it's not. I'm so sad now. It just looks all squished. I hate it. But it didn't look squished before, so I'm sure that it can be dealt with to make it better. All right, I think I fixed it. Close enough anyway. All right, someone say stuff. I'm doing pretty good, Moppy. How are you, baby? Someone say something. There we go. All right, it's like slowly cut off, but maybe it's okay. I'm gonna go like, during the last world war, we see our hero struggling in the trenches, South France. Yeah, see, now it's like the, it's too big. The font's too big. I'm gonna turn the font down to like 30. All right. Only one man can save the Republic from the hands of tyranny. Okay, that's pretty good. So it was all font issue. We just had to change the font to lower. <laughs> See, we're just doing a little story. All right, whatever. Just waking up. I'm sorry, chat. All right. Also, Bonnet, I don't recognize your name, so I'll just say welcome to the channel and I hope you're having a good day. For some reason, I thought his any was Todd. What's any? My name is Todd Anderson, Tandy. That, Tandy is a portmanteau. Uh, I got to change the sub goal to forgot properties. My name is Todd. Sharon Anderson, you may know me from the SEG tour days. Uh, seven slide zero two slide twenty two. There we go. Done and done. All right, here we go. Round one. We're gonna be on the draw. Mario won the the right to play. Our hand is great. We're keeping. Are we playing a mirror? Is it mirror time already, chat? Could be mirror time already. I got a lot of traction on this deck yesterday. Ooh, looks like we're playing Boris. Boris. I'm gonna go ahead and kill this thing. Todd, thank you for taking this deck to my local RCQ on Sunday. What do you think of the deck so far? Ryumi, it, uh, it has impressed me greatly. I, th I think it's great. I recommend.
I'm gonna play two Soul Scar Mage. These aren't that threatening. Like, obviously, if they have spell saw spell, they're bad. But uh, I mostly want to save my removal for the things that keep getting bigger and bigger. Uh, we'll just take the damage from this since most of their scary stuff is sorcery speed or defiant strike anyway. And then next time we go ledger shatter plus reckless rage, maybe. See, I think they should have done this pre combat. There's no way I'm going to double block, right? This is like the most damage they could have done. This is eight, I think. I could have held up Reckless Rage. All right, so now we go Ledger Shredder. We go Reckless Rage one. And I'm gonna do this now so we can get the loot and some extra damage in. And I am gonna be attacking. I'm gonna pitch an Opt over the Play With Fire so we can maybe kill the other Swifty if they tap out. And I'll consider blocking with Ledger Shredder. Let's hope we don't die. They have three cards in hand, but they only have two mana. We'll block just to force them to try to do two things to kill us. Well, shocking here. Drawing the land was scary. Now they might go. Yeah, we'll probably still block. We'll, we'll get an extra loot, so it might not be able to kill my guy right away. They could also go Homestead Courage again, and the God's Willing is only six. And Shell Anger doesn't kill me either. Display with Fire now looks bad. We may upkeep it. We may take the damage and go for the kill, actually, because we could go play with fire opt into something and maybe get the win. Three, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So one spell off the opt or the play with fire wins if we don't block. Is 16 draw spells enough? I think so. Well, Island, Sam, it's good, man. Give it a try. Ah, oh, Jay, I'm sorry to hear that, buddy. I thought it might be, is it War Crow, but it's Boros, obviously. And Sexual Anger. We'll pitch a Swizzler. That is technically lethal, but we have to discard something, and it's not lethal without the others. This is five. So do, can one card do three damage? They've already played a land. I think Defiant Strike's only seven. Another Homestead Courage is only seven. Yeah, I think uh, we just take the seven down to one and we try it for the kill, right? They might not even attack because it's not lethal. Oh, it has vigilance. Never mind. So it's not lethal, but our, ours isn't going to be lethal either. Three, four. So play with fire kills it. Let's draw. They might block, no blocks. All right, well, let's hope we loot, loot into a spell. We didn't, we died. That sucks. I wonder if I should have upkeep the play with fire. All of our lands that we drew in are tapped too, which sucked. Uh, we want the strangle, the lava coal, the abrade, the pierces, and then the gate, I think. And we'll cut Swiss spear and two ops. This is how I've been sideboarding in the in a creature based matchup, just boarding out Swiss spear and a couple ops for max interaction, depending on what the interaction is. OZ Strikers, thanks for the follow. Homestead Courage giving it uh, vigilance, kind of annoying there. Uh, I'm going to keep, I think, but obviously we could just never draw the land and die. But we have uh, two removal spells that can kill their first two threats. And removal spells are, like, pretty good against this deck. But, like, obviously if I just never draw a land or it takes me a turn or two to draw a land, I could lose. But we also have two good threats, some way to churn once we get them going. I could also go play with Fire Face if I really want to. Yeah, for the scry. I don't really want to, but I might. I don't think I would normally keep hands like this, but I, I just think that this hand is so good for the matchup because we just, we're guaranteed to interact twice on the first two turns. Look at him just not cast a spell, probably. 
All right. Just blast it. Land. Ooh, no land. All right. We're going to get punished here. Yeah. If we had just drawn it, though, how cool would that have been? That's like getting the turn. Oh, they kept a one lander too. And that's a poggers. We'll play shredder first in case they have some sort of shock effect. If we get to untap with spell pierce, consider strangle. I, I don't think we can lose. Now they can go one drop plus removal spell here. That would be bad. Like Re reckless rage. Yeah, they were sandbagging it. We have the strangle though, so we can even. Oh, we can't kill it now. Um, do I even want the pierce anymore? Maybe I don't want the strangle anymore. I'm gonna pitch an extra. Young, the second young pyromancer is probably not worth. I'm gonna play consider here, so we get an extra loot on shredder and a draw. Graveyard the bugbear. Start attacking. We'll just use the elemental as a chump block. I would have definitely discarded Soul Scar Mage over Young Pyromancer if I had the option, but I didn't. And I, I have enough threats for now. <laughs> yeah, Hero J got it on the nose. That's Billy Madison. And your quote was wrong. Uh, we'll discard Soul Scar Mage now. Take the seven. Oh, thank you. Love you. All right, tight turn here. If we go for a strangle reckless rage, any targeted thing on this is going to save it, not just God's willing. So the spell pierce is not super good. Um, I kind of just want to play a two mana cruise. All right, we're just going to pitch the strangle, I think. I don't think I'm ever going to be able to kill this, kill this. So we're just going to hope we don't die through blockers and spell pierce next turn. That was the bus driver, I think, right? On Billy. All right, if we don't end up spell piercing here, we'll uh, either be dead or we'll spike field to make a token. What's up, Sadie? Invigorated Rampage. Uh, so this isn't enough to kill, right? This is 11, 12. So if we spell pierce this, they can't play anything else. And we can just block like once or whatever to not die. But if we don't spell pierce this, they could just play like two things at target and spell pierce just doesn't do anything. So we'll just spell pierce this so they pay. They'll hit us for like eight damage or whatever. We'll block with like soul scar mage, maybe some tokens. And we might go for the kill next turn and see five, six, seven, eight, nine. So maybe we just don't block if they pay. That's only 11. Oh, we have to block with one. So then we can go like spike field reckless or activate den for the win. 
All right, so they pay. That's fine. If they attack, they die. So maybe they'll see that once the dust clears. And they should not have paid. I think they already played a land, too. It doesn't have uh, Vigilance anymore. So five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, plus den, ten plus den. Spike field was also lethal, I guess. But they're tapped out, it doesn't matter. Any way you want to do it. Oh, I didn't really no, that it was a it was an old black man. Wasn't Chris Farley? If Peony Pants is cool, call me Miles Davis. There's no way that was Chris Farley. This old lady? Hmm. With uh, Soul Scar Mage could use Strangle to shrink it. Yeah, but I wanted to hold up the Spell Pierce, and I didn't draw it until I had enough mana to hold it, cast it plus Spell Pierce. I drew it off the Treasure Cruise, I thought. Y'all are just mixing up my brain. All right, we're not going to keep this one lander. We need a creature for the Reckless Rage. This sounds a bit better. Uh, we are going to put back a land, probably. All right, here we go. That's right, that's right. That's right. The kid just pees his pants when they're getting back on the bus. That's right. I think I'm just gonna play a land tapped. Cause if I if I go for Soul Scar and it dies, I just don't have anything to use Reckless Rage with. Adam Sandler's a dick. I mean, okay, it's fine. Is blood control a viable option? I mean, it's probably okay. It's just way worse now that it doesn't have expressive iteration. We'll make them make the first move. If we Reckless Rage now, though, our thing dies, so we'll just wait. All right, let's hope they don't have two protection spells. The second Reckless Rage is going to kill my Soul Scar Mage, though, right? It's kind of hard. I'm going to target this one first and see what they do. Divine Strike. They Divine Strike the 10th District Legionnaire, though, right? So 
Get out of my way, stack. Jesus. So I think we let that resolve. It's only three. They're defiant striking it again. Okay, so I think I just go reckless rage this and they lose everything. We lose everything too, but that's okay. They don't get to draw any cards. They made a big mistake. Some let your opponent fuck up sometimes, chat. You know? Land. Will Ancestral Anger be a good alternative to Of One Mind that doesn't have cost restriction? Uh, they are not remotely the same card. I would highly recommend playing Of One Mind. It's been very good for me. But Gigantha in hand, very scary. It's only looking bad in this one spot, but it's been very good otherwise. I'm just light on mana, you know? I literally drew four of my eight big card draw effects without the ability to play them. All right, let's hope I don't die. They played a bunch of their pump spells two turns ago, though, so. We'll just draw two cards. Consider a chump block, I guess. If they have Reckless Rage, it doesn't do anything. Another Defiant Strike? Come on. Probably gonna discard Gigantha. They discard another Virtuoso. That's okay. I'm probably going to die, but if they don't have a protection spell, we can maybe shrink this next turn with the Soul Scar, even if it gets over the Strangle Threshold. Four Defiant Strikes. Very cool. All right, they're probably going to discard Gigantha now. Discard Den of the Bugbear. Okay, so it's only six damage. Invigorated Rampage is lethal, but I'm going to take it. Nope, I don't get Invigorated Rampaged. They have Invigorated Rampage. That's so stupid. They have two Invigorated Rampage. They draw four Defiant Strikes. I don't know. I guess I, I need to draw a land one turn earlier so I could draw some stuff. I could have gone for a Strangle on the Virtuoso. I just felt like their last card was God's Willing. Fair to say maybe we should have tucked the cruise over the land in game three. No, two lander openers are fine. We just never drew a third land. We just drew a bunch of card draw spells that did nothing. That's a hindsight's 2020 type scenario. That's not a nice thing to say, Bonnet. Their deck's cool. Having that kind of mentality is toxic. Every deck is situationally better than others in certain situations, and people play them for certain reasons. You need to get that shit out of your brain. I mean, that's fine. 
But like saying that someone's deck is worse than yours is is bad. Don't ever do that. Because it doesn't matter. I'm going to go in main phase to consider looking for lands. Keep it. Yeah, exactly. It's all contextual. Contextual statements that are true are untrue because of context most of the time. All right, let's start with this one. See if we can draw a Reckless Rage. Okay. Why are they conceding? If Kalidus, bro. Not 100% out of sideboard in this matchup. Spell Pierce seems medium. I kind of want the negate though. They're talking about previous opponent blind attorney. It's fine. How? What's up? Uh, Agi, my my opener was three lamb, soul scar mage, treasure cruise, and two removal spells, and I put back a lamb. I didn't keep an of one mime. I would have put back of one mime. I'm pretty sure. I don't think I'm brain dead like that. I could have just fucked up though. I guess if I had of one mine, treasure cruise, three lamb, soul scar, strangle, then I should have put back of one mind. And if I did this because I'm on autopilot because I'm eating and stuff. I don't know. Uh, Fadiz, I think um, Reckless Rage is too good. And you have to play one drops to work with it. All right, well, I'm going to need you to change your attitude and change your language a bit, buddy. You know, no offense. Just relax a little. God sees is fine. We don't have any card draw spells in hand, so it's just the threat or a consider. I probably should have cut play with fire play with fire is what I should have cut actually I have a sideboard guide for this and I just forgot to look at it Um, we'll go with blue pathway We'll consider looking for something I should have kept swiss beer. I should have cut uh, play with fire Uh, No, oh if I had played red I could have spike fielded this I'm just gonna discard spike field now though. I think
Hopefully they just play Trespasser and I get to go Soul Scar, Reckless Rage, kill it. I'll discard a Shiv and Reef. Chandra's defeat, rip. We got the answer for Chandra though, and Colgon's command. Um, I'm gonna negate this so I have the answer for Kalidus sticking around still. I'm not sure if it's right, but this deck is nuts. Apparently, the deck's fine. Howl, I went four one and five zero yesterday. Close games. Every round was like a two one. Don't let me forget about Gigantha chat. I always forget about Gigantha. Just never on my radar. All right, Soul Scar down. Dex coming over to six months says Tandy Tandy Bandy and I say banana banana for Fandy be five for Mandy The bone man cometh land Don't really want another soul scar I'm gonna coil the reflection, I think. Maybe I should have coiled the bone crusher, but then they can start playing stuff from hand and then copying it, like the three two, get some extra blood tokens. Yeah. I think that it's better to oh they didn't attack? That was just a misclick, probably. No dreadbore one time. Thanks to the six months dex, appreciate you. We're definitely going to block if they attack. I'll definitely trade two for one here on this. Oh, now they can get back Kroxa, though. Ah, uh, you win. Wow, they didn't Kroxa me? That's nuts. I thought they were just going to do this and then Kroxa. I'm going to concede. Down too far. Cook the next turn, too many threats. All right, let's get the play with fires out. I know they have the three two, but the three two is not that scary. We're gonna bring in the three ether gusts instead and a spell pierce instead of the swiss spears. We're just gonna get a little more reactive. Ah, uh, you're welcome, Dex. Thanks for hanging, man. I appreciate you. I'll say this my hands have felt worse today than they did yesterday. Not sure if that's uh, psychological or not. I had a lot of close matches yesterday, though. I think this deck's good, but I don't know if it's fucked up. You know what I mean? It's really customizable, which I like. We're just not going to play anything into their removal. I guess I could have played Shredder, but they probably have Chandra's. I don't know, Chandra's feet undo. Maybe they got the other one. Uh, so we'll go blue for this, young Pyromancer go. The next turn we'll go Shredder Ops or Shredder of One Mine Ops. Probably should have played Shredder last turn, but it's, it probably would have died without gaining any value. Top cards of land, we'll put it on bottom. Is Hurst good in the matchup to fight Croaks as well as they are playing Cat Oven? They're not playing Cat Oven, they're like mid range garbage. It basically only stops Kroxa, and I, I don't think cards that only stop one card are very good. Graveyard Trespass. All right, we can kind of ignore this one for a minute because our Ledger Shredder will be a 2-4. All right, so let's go... 2 life. Sh Shredder. Of one mine. Oh, wait. I need a human. Crap. I will just play 2 Shredder. I hope they don't have two removal spells. I'm gonna pitch an opt. I'm 
It's going to take the three and hope they don't have another removal spell. Not in the graveyard anyway. It doesn't matter. Attack with both. I was wondering if they would do anything here. We're going to discard uh, Consider and then draw two, I think. Uh, maybe we'll consider to get an extra token, though. Then we'll just hard cast up one my next turn. I think that's okay. No. Okay, so we'll uh, discard a Trespasser. We'll discard of one mind. Uh, we'll discard Spikefield Hazard to that. They take a little extra damage. In the end of the day, we got four creatures and they played three removal spells. All right, Soren. If they make a two three. We'll cruise, look for a way to answer it, and then try to pick off the Sorn easily. Uh, we'll just discard the Fire Bluff, that's fine. All right, cruise time. Still gonna dig for removal. Graveyard that. Uh, I don't wanna get it discarded, so I think I'm gonna shock and play it again. I'm just going to send all three of these at Soren, though. But I, I really don't want to give their Thoughtseize any value. But maybe I should play the Soul Scar in the Den instead. Yeah, because they could eat my graveyard. They could make me discard. Next turn, we can Soul Scar Strangle Gust up. Something like that. Play Den. All right, so this is a pretty big attack. Our life total is under some pressure, but we have answers to the den. We can strangle this. No, the cruise is great. I said this. Strangle that. Play den. Attack with both. If they activate den, we'll just gust it. And we'll just pay many, many manas for a cruise next turn. I guess maybe they should activate the hive, actually. Okay. So we're going to take one down to five. They're going to put that on the bottom. But they still have hive. So let's go consider. Graveyard that, Pyromancer, one, two, three, four, five, six. Looking for Reckless Rage or something. Okay. I'm just gonna say go. I don't really wanna attack for one. I can triple block the Hive without losing the Elemental. I got protection for the Pyromancer with Gust, kind of. Nice. Perfect. Yo, Rasputin coming with a six months. Says, lend me into your quiz knops. Lend me onto your quiz knops. All right, so they're going to play the Bone Man. Oh, they conceded. We're at five. We're at five life. Why are you conceding? Thanks, I'm Roland Broadside for throwing up the sub rats. Appreciate you. Now, should I finish eating or keep playing while I'm eating? That's the real question. Am I ever going to finish eating if I keep doing this? Eon, thanks for follow. And Jason's ultimate. Thank you. We are back.
That was the rice. I mean, it's just white rice with a little bit of sesame oil. Nothing big. Just for the aroma. The um, the chicken is in like a lime teriyaki sauce. Yeah, sesame oil is good. All right, I'm gonna keep munching though. I gotta eat, chat. It's lunchtime. I gotta eat. I'll keep playing though. Bravo Canal, so dumb. It was like my, my, maybe my favorite land ever printed. Did you get enough for chat? Unfortunately, no. Black white, huh? Maybe S for Grease Fang? All right, whatever they take, I'll play the other creature. If they take a Treasure Cruise or Reckless Rage, I'll play Ledger Shredder because that means I probably have to dig for some more interaction. What kind of flashback spell you want? Yeah. Swizzler is first to get cut if it gets cut. If something gets cut. I'm gonna keep it. They didn't take Reckless Rage, so I'm not really afraid of the Parhelion stuff yet. The other one mine works really well with Young Pyromancer if I can get this online. And if I just draw a land, just a uh, draw two is fine here. Owlblade, okay, so they are playing that. We can Soul Scar or Reckless Rage if we draw the land. We might be dead here. I could I could have held up a red for uh, Reckless Rage. But if they just have three interactive piece, Parhelion, Grease Fang, then you got me, I guess. Now, Gaze ain't good at this in this deck. This is a control deck, man. This is a control deck with 16 creatures. Oh, Reggie. You know, the red source. Guess I'll take Treasure Cruise. Even though I'm going to get my brains bashed in. I think I'm going to block the season and make them discard. Take seven. Saw it coming. Oh, they just empty their hand? I, I, I don't really know what's happening here. I'm going to trade this for a card, though. They let it happen. That's fine with me. Start a course, okay. Another Reggie. So you got no cards in hand. They consider in response looking for some instant to play. Don't find it. It's a land. 
I'm going to shrink this and make a 1-1. One, one. And now if they attack with both, I'll go block, block. If they don't attack with both, I don't know what I'm going to do. Greasy, okay, they don't have anything for it. That's okay. Trade there easy. Jump there easy. Say go. Uh, counter spell is kind of bad, actually. Uh, let's go face and just do some blocking. I could go to one, I guess, but I don't really want the tap land. All right, so we're going to play of one mine. They're going to counter it, and then we're going to play shredder. Right, let's play shredder first, actually. They'll, they'll counter this, I think, but that's okay. We're, like, pretty dense on threats. And uh, the saw it coming foretold is not a huge deal, I don't think. We'll just pitch Swiss Beer. No tax. We'll go ahead and kill this so there's no way we randomly die to it from a charter course or whatever. Hopefully they don't give this flying or something stupid and kill me. Cycle tower. Uh, Cindy, and I think alchemy is bad. That's all. Not a huge deal or whatever. Just a mistake. And uh, they should rectify it sooner rather than later. Bring in two hearse. I don't love the spell pierces, but it seems like they, they have a ton of creatures with Hellblade and Regisaur. And even Salt coming for targets for Pierce, though, so... I'm not sure. I don't really have a whole lot of cyborg cards for the matchup. They're very lightly splashing blue, I'm sure, just for Ledger Shredder and maybe Faithful Mending or something. The two hearse can come in. The play with fires are pretty lackluster. I think we'll cut those. And then, um, I don't know. I probably want a couple ways to kill Ledger Shredder. So I think Coil, Strangle. Actually, a Braid. A Braid, a braid Coil. We'll leave out the Strangle. It's not the best, but it's not the worst either. Said, what makes you think that he has any fucking control over Arena or... Or that format. What are you even talking about? Gavin is probably the best thing that's ever happened to Magic, to be honest. Gavin is the most pure human being I've ever met. His love for the game is unrivaled. He is he's like the Willy Wonka. He's he's Charlie to MTG Aaron's Willy Wonka. And he will be a great Willy Wonka too. As is tradition. Yeah, Chicken Tarak at his house once. That's cool. Yeah, that's just uh, that's just some dumb shit to say. Said fiends informant. Cool, cool. They discard Barhelion. Interesting, interesting. I right, hold up op slash reckless rage. I guess that was a great draw. By the way, we were dead to Grease Fang without it.
Yeah, absolutely, Augie. I, I think he was literally hired to be the next Marrow. I don't doubt that for one moment. All right, we're going to kill this in response. Mm -hmm. I'll trade Swiss beer here. I'll trade token here. They kept the last card. It's probably a Grease Fang. Not a lot we can do, though. Oh, the Cycle Tower. Perfect. Now we can Treasure Cruise and hopefully find an answer. Well, we can also just Odawara. They're gonna play around Pierce or something. I'll wait for them to bring the Parhelion back. They they very obviously have it. I'll wait for them to bring it back. It's hard for them to discard it, maybe. All right, so it's coming back. So we'll bounce Grease Fang now, and then they'll both go back to hand. And they can't crew it with just two. They need four. I'm gonna play around Mystical Dispute. Since we're already dead to the Parhelion thing. All right, I'm gonna attack with everybody. Once they block here, we'll put uh, Gigantha in hand and just hope they don't go chart a course or whatever before they play. They have a bunch of ways to discard, but we have no way to protect from it, so it's better that we just go ahead and get out in front of it. Easy. Yeah, Leonardo, thanks for follow. Of all the people in, in Wizards of the Coast that you could blame for being the way the thing that's ruining magic, Gavin is like maybe in my bottom two or something. I think uh I know he has a hand in like helping make the commander supplemental products. I don't see those as a net negative for magic. I think in general, just like more game pieces, it's fine. I just wish they'd tone it down a little, you know, it's just a little too much. But it doesn't even really affect me, so I don't even really care. I just stopped playing Legacy. What do you think about Pioneer Horizons? I think it'll be fine. I don't know. A lot of people said shit like they would quit or something. I think that's stupid. I think Modern Horizons 2 kind of made modern, remade it in its own image. Fighting its Pro Tour champion, Lavunga. Turn one, so a little more elf, okay?
Let's go Swifty, play with Fire and attack for four. Will this be your pick for a Pioneer Tournament today? Yes, but only because I've played it like four or five leagues in a row or whatever. It's the only deck I've played in the last three days. And I have like a heavy familiarity with it, but that doesn't mean that it's like, I don't know. I got the the answer is just yes. It's fine. The answer is yes. I would play this tomorrow. I think the deck's great. Uh, well, I want to use my mana. Maybe I should have kept the card draw, but hitting the removal spell was the. Removal spell there was pretty good. Mam double's kind of scary. Alright, well, we can't uh, do much, so we'll just put Gigant in hand and let the Mam double eat us alive. I shouldn't have killed Goose, I guess? I guess I should have just kept the draw two, and then I would have drawn two in Reckless Rage and killed this. But I might have lost my creature. Priest of Forgotten Gods. We're probably going to lose our board here because they go Priest you, sack two things, use two things to kill the Soul Scar, and then probably Fatal Push the Swiss Beard. But then I'll just cruise, hopefully, and kill their board. If they play another creature, I lose my board. All right, so they're sacking a Mayhem Devil. Okay, so they kill they kill everything. That sucks. I'm not going to concede, but I guess I probably should have just played Cruise. But that's not a problem, right? You you either buy it or you don't. What's the problem with an overpriced booster pack? Accessibility for who? The people who are just literally just gonna buy it anyway, right? What is it really overpriced if it's a hundred percent to sell? It is an increased price booster. I, don't, I wouldn't even say it's overpriced. Like it's priced exactly how it has to be to for you to buy it for what it is. And if it was too high, it wouldn't sell. All right, you win. All right, uh, they got a bunch of mana things. I'm gonna bring in a braid, coil, strangle. I don't think they have that much graveyard stuff. I don't know that I'm gonna bring in hearse. Gust is okay, maybe. I think I'm gonna leave it on the sidelines though. Just bring in these three and maybe one more. Maybe the stroke, because they have Coco and they might have the six drop. Let's see, if they have Bulls of Citadel and Coco, this could be good. If they don't, I guess maybe they have enough green things where Gus is just okay. Green and red. Maybe I actually trim a play with fire for another Gus. So I just have another answer to Mayhem Devil. Yeah. I don't know if they have Corvold if they have Coco though. Coco usually means that everything else costs less. Uh, three red sources, Tilt, Mole. No blue sources for two hands in a row. I even added a, an island, right? Not crazy. I added a blue source. Deck was running smooth as hell yesterday. Today a little little less smooth. I guess yesterday was just one of them days where everything goes right. Let's see, we'll put back Soul Scar and Opt. No, it hasn't been announced. Pioneer Horizons is a thing that they probably started making before Pandemic and then froze on because it seemed like no one wanted to play the format anymore and now it's back again. I don't know. Probably getting pushed here. Ooh, no push. Love it. We'll try to save the Reckless Rage for Mayhem Devil, I guess. If we can help it.
Zen hopes for no Pioneer Horizons ever. I mean, they're gonna do it. It's a hundred percent because it's free. It's free money for them. Literally no reason for them not to do it. Well, Augie, the, it's the same as different with it. What's different with everything? It's literally just a. Uh, it's just another way to play Magic, dude. What do I discard here? Maybe the other one mine. So I can go. Let's see, four, five, six. Loot again. Treasure cruise. Okay. All right. So we'll go. Reckless Rage the Priest. Ether Gust the Elf, and then Treasure Cruise. Uh, I don't want to take the damage, so let's go Ether Gust Elf. Let's discard either Steam Vents or some garbage spell off the top. I'll keep the play of fire. I could grab my thing, but I value the spell over the land here. Do we make any more changes from yesterday? Not yet. I was gonna play one more league. I'm waiting for my buddy Lil Nuki to get on so we can play some Fall Guys. I wanted to play Fall Guys today, but I wanted to play one or two leagues first. And I'm not gonna start Fall Guys until he gets home. He's busy today, though. Um, we'll discard Let's play with fire. We know they have the one two though. Maybe I should have kept playing with fire. I kept the young pyromancer, even though I have a threat already, because they sometimes board in like three fatal push if they don't have it in the main deck. And if I lost my ledger shredder, I'm just like out of pressure. Yeah, reprints would be okay, I guess. All right, so they probably just have Citadel. All right, let's start with an opt. See if we can hit a draw two. Nice. I'm going to pitch a land, I think. Hmm. I got too much to do, chat. I think I don't play the other Ledger Shredder. I think I just play Cruise. And then try to draw another removal spell so I just have two at the ready. All right, I'm just going to attack with Shredder. They now have six for Bolus to Citadel, though. So maybe I should, like, kill the Eldrazi's. I don't know what to do though, because if they just play Bolsa Citadel, I can die next turn. And I, but I don't really want to burn one or two of these on an Eldrazi Scion. I think I'll just hope they don't have it. Mm 
What's this playlist? This is the uh, stream synths uh, from Amazon Music or something like that. Twitch soundtrack is called Stream Synths. It's all synthwave stuff. It's all DMCA free. No idea sets. No idea. I don't really play Arena Man. Need to keep eating my cold lunch. It's been an hour. Yeah, I was kind of afraid of this. I think I'm going to kill Innkeeper. I guess we can wait and see what they cast, though. They put it on top. Okay. It's okay, Sed. You're good, man. Trying to change the culture, you know? All right, it's just a... So it's not a land on top? Maybe they're bugged out? Maybe F8 doesn't work with Bolsa Citadel? I think I might kill the sifter too, but I might wait. I don't really want to give him another scry. I guess scry is okay. They put one card on top anyway. Okay. They haven't played a land yet either, so they can play a land off the bolster citadel still. Okay, now I just have to hit another land. Mam double. Nope. All right, well, I'll kill this in response, I guess. EOT. They get another scry, though. one card on the bottom oh wow we drew the abrade what appeal yeah discard den i think don't really need more threats Uh, let's say go. I'm gonna go upkeep, a braid, destroy this. And during their draw step, I think I'm gonna play, um, the play with fire on the goose so that their scry is worse. Bottom Pyromancer. This will maybe help me against a Coco or something. Maybe a no a new Mayhem double. I 
yeah, so the the singletons are all fucking awesome. The singletons are all cool as hell. They just give you outs when you might not have them, you know? Claim the firstborn on the shredder. All right, we'll keep the cruise over the gust. I guess this is probably getting sacrificed to something. I'm just gonna take the damage, I think. Oh, it's flying anyway, duh. Maybe they're gonna deli dispute it. Well, let's try it. That's fine too. I haven't seen claim the firstborn out of these builds, so it's interesting. They don't have like cat oven, so they just have this as a sideboard card to deal with Shredder along with Woe Shredder and some other sack stuff. Why upkeep? Uh, we don't want them to uh, be able to play stuff. I, I wanted to play it on their turn so I could trigger my uh, my bird again. If that makes sense. And I could have done it on my turn, but then I lose out on the um, the connive. And I do the uh, the thing during the draw step, the play thread during the draw step, so their scry is weak. I wonder if they're gonna sack the goat token in response. Okay, they can just sack this. I guess I should have coiled this. The three toughness I thought might matter for this, but I should probably just not attack with it anyway. Next turn we can use Odawar to bounce and attack for a bunch. You didn't have follow spell though, so you couldn't trigger connive anyway. I literally did. I literally had play with fire and triggered it also. I literally had it and explained it the whole time. I don't understand what you're talking about. Ah, they're just gaining so much life. All right, pitch the events. Uh, I think it's okay to lose, like, three tokens. I'm going to make them do some sacking next turn. Five, six. Okay, they're doing a lot of blocking. Maybe I go face. I think I'm gonna discard Gigantha to do an extra damage. I don't think the body is gonna matter this game at all. Put that on top. I think I've already played a land. I think I played a pathway on red. Yeah, Prosperous and Keeper is fucked up in their deck for sure. I probably should have killed it a lot like this turn actually after all the damage was done or after all the blocks had happened. I just wanted to scry one.
But I, I probably should have killed Innkeeper because it's a way for them to just keep gaining life. And they're just digging, digging, digging. The Bolsa Citadel is no longer good. They, they don't have the mana to cast it, but also they just are low on life. Yeah, I could have killed it like a long time ago too. It's just gained them like 20 life. I'm going to jump block. They're just trying to gain more life from the graveyard by me double blocking it. So they're going to bring it back from the grave. They're going to go up to six. Or does it make an extra goat when you escape it? Something weird. No. One, two, there's six. This is two. All right, let's just start with opt. Let's see where we go. It should be a lethal attack. I can bounce something too. Yeah, it comes back big. But I, I was curious. So some some of the escape cards do something extra when you escape them, I think. All right, so this puts them to three. Then we have seven, eight attackers for their five blockers. So eight minus five. So this is lethal. We attack with... I'm going to channel against... I guess this big woe strider. In case there was something I was missing. I don't know. Do I want the other? I kind of like the either gust actually. I think I'm going to bring it in. You can just hit elves and stuff, but stopping ma'am double, stopping random red cards is nice. Was I pulling 61 cards that game on accident? I like all the play with fires. They just have a bunch of elves. I like 12 creatures. The soul scars are okay. Hers is probably pretty good. Yeah, hers is maybe better than I thought just because they have the, the stupid guy. But that's it, right? If if that's the only thing, it's not even that scary. These striders. If it's only eating one thing, like only crooks or only strider, I just don't think it's good enough. Is there ever a world where we just cut Soul Scar too? I think if we cut Soul Scar, we have to cut Reckless Rage. Maybe we should trim a Reckless Rage anyway, just because we keep cutting the Swiss Spears. Even though it kills stuff, which is nice. It's just a little too costly sometimes. <sighs> if only young Pyromancer was a wizard instead of a shaman, magic would be different. Magic would be a different game if Young Pyromancer was a wizard. Wizard's Lightning would be like the best removal spell of all time. All the wizard synergies would get a huge leg up. We're going to opt looking for a uh, creature to play. Bottomless. There you go. And then we'll spike an L for something if we want to, or we'll just play Consider. Next turn, if they don't play anything threatening, we'll just draw two with of one mine. Mm. 
Yep. Kind of want to spike fill the Eldrazi. I don't think I'm gonna though. In the land, another draw two. There is a danger of having too much card draw though. No, 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 no. Miss, 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 miss. You can easily lose now. Their card draw is putting them into play. Chaos Blood Mage. Choose one. Create a 1 1, draw a card and lose, or exile target player's graveyard. Woo. Woo. Scary. Well, I think the difference between a wizard and a shaman in the magic universe is that a wizard um, creates magic from knowledge, from incantations and spells, and a someone who's a mancer, little mancer, whatever mancer, they have that power inside of them. They like channel their inner whatever. I think I'm dead, chat. But I think that that's the joke. Like the the Chandra is a pyromaster. master. I would not consider Chandra a wizard. I would consider her a a shaman. Shamans have the magic within them. All right, inside your draw set, we're gonna eat the gust, the mayhem double. I think we're dead, chat. I'm no doctor scientist. Call me a nerd? What, just because I know things about the game I play? Well, actually. Oh, Lord nerd, yeah, that's me. So if they don't have a spell to play this turn, though, we can just chump block a Catacomb Sifter. We go to six. Yeah, big nerd. Well, I'm prompt to you now. I'm just mad. But I still, I still maintain that wizards learn the magic, whereas shamans are inherent with it. Creatures of nature. Actually, I, I might need to not block in case I draw Reckless Rage. Or I can also combo block plus play with fire it or something, maybe. This is assuming they have nothing. Like, if, if they have anything, I'm dead. But if they have nothing, I can maybe come back. Like, if this is a pass turn with no Coco... Next time they draw Mayhem Devil with like nothing to do with it. They put it on the bottom. I was right. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Magic, it seems that to do with the color of the card. Okay. Yeah, Mayhem Devil is not one that I am great against, for sure, for sure. 
Perhaps I should be boarding out Young Pyromancer in the matchup, but of one mind, and Young Pyromancer are the easiest way for me to grind longer games. I gotta draw one a way to kill this now. Oh no. We're dead dead. Nope. Can't beat the world or the uh the Pro Tour champion Lavunga. Salva is it Leverado? Leverado? Lavunga? All right, last match probably, and then we'll switch over to Fall Guys, hopefully. I'm gonna go to the bathroom real quick, I'll be right back. There's only one shaman in the color white. So it is color centric, I guess, huh? I just don't understand the difference between one and the other, I guess. Or why one color would be shaman versus wizard. But they're all learning magic. Shaman's nature focused. Ain't nothing natural about shitting fireballs out your hands, buddy. Hmm. Hmm. All right, we'll keep this hand. We're very threat dense, but 
We have multiple ledger shredders, which is always a good time. We can go turn one soul scar, turn two shredder, turn three shredder soul scar, double uh double loots. It may also kill our soul scar on one if they're a shock deck, if they think we're mono red, right? MDG the rock. Do you think that's Soul Maka? I don't think so. Death Rite Shaman. Well, they are set, they're doing the thing. We're gonna attack for one. It's a free attack. There's no way they'll block. There's a opt or something, and then kills their Death Rite Shaman. Play Shredder now. Yeah, Soul's target player. I forgot. Shamanism feels mostly green. Well, what about Young Pyromancer? It's a Shaman. Infernal Grasp. Okay. All right, let's go Shredder plus Soul Scar, and then we'll discard one of these two lands, probably. I'll probably discard a uh, Sokinzon. Maybe just because Inner's untapped, and I already have a Den of the Bugbear. You're testing, you're lost in the sauce. You're testing Fairy Vandal with Delver and Shredder. Fairy Vandal, is that the one that like gives minus two toughness or something? So it's mostly a red and green thing. All right, well, Reckless Rage the Shaman before it can gain any value. They're stuck on lands. They're dealing themselves damage with Infernal Grasp. I'm going to go ahead and just of one mind to draw some cards. Kill the thing so I can use my mana and get an extra prowess trigger. Bang the drum for six, put him to eight with a Den of the Bugbear looming. We got PZ, we got Gigantha. Oh, I see, I see. Are we, I think we're playing as new player. This has to be wrong. Let's see if they kill either of our things. That way we can go Young Pyromancer plus Cruise. Weird. I'm going to play around uh, like a sweeper, I guess. Don't know what's happening. All right. Uh, so it seems like there may be mono black control of some kind. We'll bring in some pierces, a stroke, and a gust or negate. Maybe we don't bring in the stroke just because we don't know that much about their deck. And we'll just trim some play with fires. Do something like this. We'll make some changes after we see more of their deck. We'll just bring in some generic counter spells and board out some mediocre removal. So it's kind of like connive, but instead of looting and getting a counter, it just gets a counter. So it's like a bad version of Shredder. It only works when you play your second spell, whereas connive or Shredder, Shredder, for example, works when either player casts their second spell. Against which decks did I play? I played against a bunch of different stuff. I played against the uh, Lavunga, playing John Citadel. Chat can probably tell you. I, I don't remember anymore. 
I played against the Boris Heroic, I lost to. I beat uh, Rakdos, and then there's one I can't remember. Fabled Passage. Maybe they were black green and they just got screwed. All right, we'll go Soul Scar first, so we can go Swiss Spear Opt Attack for four. That way we don't lose out on any damage. Lucky, thanks for the follow. Looks like they got black this game, chat. Traverse. All right. Let's see what they go get a swamp. All right. This time it's not a bluff, but they may think I don't have it since I semi bluffed last game a bunch. I want the extra damage here, so I'm going to go ahead and do it. Mana is fine. Yeah, I'll keep it. Now we're going to be looking for like removal salt for the death right. Maybe the disdainful strike's good. It, they might be playing a Kalidus or something. Grim Flare, okay. Only after dark. All right, we'll just say go. Only after dark. We didn't attack, so Grizzly Salvage. Wow. Okay, so this is not what I thought it was. This might be uh, Soul Flare or like a weird hybrid. Or maybe it's just Golgari stuff and their name is just 100% on point. Does that have a good match against Mono Green, Mono Blue Spirit, and Black Red Mid? I think so. I think so. We'll take the four from the Questing Beast. This is huge now. We'll double block that. I don't want to trade both for the Questing Beast. We can draw something. My hand is much worse now than it could have been. Uh, no, we'll keep the cruise. We'll double block here, take four. Lose one. We'll go of one mind, of one mind, looking for uh, stuff. Since we have the elemental. Only after dawn. We'll attack with uh, just the Swiss Spear. If they block with Questing Beast, we'll play a draw spell. If they don't, okay, that's fine. We'll just chill. And then. We'll say go. In a turn, we'll consider and then uh, look for ways to kill this next turn. Take the four down to eight. We can block it uh, maybe next turn if we need to. Is it one or less or two or less? Two or less. Okay, so we have to play stuff before blocks. We're going to hold the disdainful stroke for whatever they play here, though. We got to probably cut this after sideboard. Ashiok. Okay. We can't search, but that's okay. They always be going for Graveyard Exiles. He big. All right, let's play Consider. The Cruises are kind of shit now, but we might can cast one this turn if we get a little lucky. Graveyard the land, Ledger Shredder, okay. Let's go Shredder. I'm going to play River Glide. Play Ops. I'm going to pitch a Cruise.
We'll take another four hit from the questing beast this turn, but next turn we might be okay. We gotta try to get this up. It's gonna be hard. This is extremely annoying with my cruises being offline. We'll like put a bunch of shit in front of this if it attacks. All right, can't block, we'll go to four. Yeah, we only have two Reckless Rages though, because I trimmed one. I wasn't sure what my opponent's playing. They played three Swamps and a Deathrite Shaman and two two-mana removal spells in the first game. No green sources. Gargaroth! Gargaroth's kind of scary. Wish I had Disdainful Shrook up there. Consider. Luckily, we can just use the Pyromancer tokens to swarm the Gargaroth. We have to discard a spell here, I think, to turn on Shredders. I'm going to discard Disdainful Stroke. I think the time for it is past. I'm going to discard an Opt. I'm going to bend this 99% of the time. Uh, we're going to play an Opt because it's free. And we're going to Cruise. For one or two, bottom. All right, so let's play the Shivan Reef, Cruise. Looking for a way to kill the Questing Beast. We can block it, but it's just a trade here, which sucks. Now we, we have to chump it. That's so bad, man. I kind of just want to concede. I think I'm gonna. We'll attack the Ashiok and see if they block or not. If they just single block, that's fine. If they double block, we'll kill the thing that's not Gargaroth. We're still not dead, technically, so I'm gonna, I'll keep pointing it out. If they kill the Ledger Shredder, we're dead to this. Every time you read Questing Beast, it gets a new ability. Yeah. Was there a point where I could have discarded a spell to Ledger Shredder to, to trigger it? I don't know. Frogamoth. Triple Haste. Exile Graveyard stuff. No pro. I wasn't sure if that one was the pro blue one or not. Finally, chat. Jesus Christ. All right, let's go. We got 14 cards left. It's this. It's this. We got the negate now. I'm feeling pretty safe. Have you done that website that does questing beast abilities? It's fun. No, that sounds funny though. The Gargaroth's actually kind of annoying. Did we cut all the shocks? Yeah. We have very few removal spells in our deck. Languish. Wow. Okay, so four here. Do we just let that happen? 
I think we just negate this, right? I think we just lose otherwise. Because we can't proc the Ledger Shredder without casting the negate anyway. See if they attack with other things. We'll kill the Questing Beast for sure. We're very close to getting decked by the uh, the Ashiok, so. Maybe I should discard Treasure Cruise, but. The problem is that, let's see, we're going to seven, six, okay. We can't draw cards anymore, really. We can't play the treasure cruise anymore, so we'll just save it. Oh, is that lethal? Bounce this, attack with everybody? I think it is. They got one blocker. Might as well. This is 10 tokens. Crazy game? Yeah, it was a sick game. Considering I did not have the tools to win the game. Finally, finally found them. Someone someone clipped my stream and sent it to Gavin when we were talking about Gavin earlier when I said he was the Charlie and he was going to become the new Willy Wonka and he messaged me and he said he was getting all teary eyed. All right. Well, whatever. Uh, I think it's time to play some Fall Guys chat. It's OK. I had, I had fun playing Magic, but Fall Guys is my new bay. I want to become a uh, full time Fall Guys streamer. You know?